This is the highlight of my fucking day. Who knew that deer eat pumpkin? Sorry for the bouncy camera. Kind of zoomed in. What's up YouTube? A few months back I did a video talking about how to shuck a hard drive for a Plex server or whatever you need storage for it. Now this is my Plex server and as you'll see I have quite a few uh, hard drives here. I'm running about 30 terabytes roughly. Well we're going to add another 14 terabytes but first uh, I need to do a mod to the pins and that's what this video is all about. Now in this video I did it a few months back so it shows how to do it on the WD, I think it's the 80 easy. Um, it's the same for the 14 and the 10 and the 12. Just so you guys know. It's just a quick video on the <clears throat> WD 80 EMAZ with the 3.3 volt pin. If you notice, pin three has been removed. There is pin three. I've been reading, people are saying, oh, just put some scotch tape over it, get some capped on tape, or blah, 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 blah. Honestly speaking, um, if you have an older power supply, uh, when you plug your Molex connector in, you'll or your SATA connector, I'm sorry, you'll find it doesn't work. The, uh, the other option is to use a SATA adapter, such as <clears throat> one of these that convert Molex into SATA because then you're bypassing the 3.3 volt pin that seems to lock you out of this drive. Oh, by the way, these are, uh, if you were to shuck these potentially out of a, a eight terabyte Western Digital. Um, so what I've done is simply taking a straight razor. Uh, and I don't know if I could do this with one hand on you guys and one hand on the project, but let's see. Uh, you know, at risk of cutting myself. Now stand aside, worthy adversary. Tis but a scratch. A scratch? Your arm's off. I am going to pause this and come back in two seconds. All right, this is better. All right, if you see, I have my blade underneath that pin. Pop that pin out. And then all we're going to do is just rock it back and forth a few times. Oh, yeah, don't do that when you have a cut. Anyway, there she goes. And now, just to test. So here we go. Oh, I gotta get a stand or something. It's hard to do this one-handed. And why don't you sit right there? Oh boy, this is dangerous. Uh, hang on one second. All right, we are powered up now and you really can't see it but this drive has centrifugal force on it and it is currently spinning before it was not spinning at all and now it fires up and <clears throat> it will be recognized when I plug it in <clears throat> 